And would you have a look at that? That is a rare old Honda, and it's the handiwork of some Japanese coach builders from back in the day called Karozeria Watanabe. Not one hit wonders, but not far off it. In today's video, I'll be telling you everything I know about this creation, but see if you can't figure out where the headlights, blinkers, tail lights, etc., were sourced from. Uh, big hint, not from Honda. So with that, let's get it. G'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady and I'm back at the car spotting, this time at a car show. This one's in Osaka, the Osaka retro car Bumpaku, back in 2020. And Bumpaku is like a exposition, like, you know, like World Exposition 88, World Expo, that sort of expo. And this was a car show that had already yielded plenty of amazing cars, the Tom's Angel, for example. And then I went in 2021, I saw some amazing cars, experienced some amazing things, drove to the event in the Spoon CEO's Honda S600, for example. And again, just incredible cars year after year. Cannot wait for this year's in, what, November, December. There is a heap to unpack about this car, but let's get out of the way the most obvious thing, and that is the fact that this is dressed up like a TV car. That TV show was called Dengeki Strata 5. They produced 13 episodes in uh, 1974. It is car related, so I'll push on. There were five members. There was Pegasus in the Griffin. Uh, Orion had the buggy. Luna had the Jiminy. And Andromeda had the Ken Mary. And poor old Apollo. I don't know what vehicle he drove. Probably he walked. I do have to mention the villain. His name was Big Nova. And I came to Japan to work for Nova in 2001. Incredible. Spooky. And to get back to the car, please note all that Dengeki Strata 5 goodies on the bench there, the plastic models and such. For two months in 1974, it was a huge phenomena. I just want to remind everyone the base car, the Honda S600. These were built from 1964 to 66. There were two body styles, the Roadster and the Coupe. They all had 606cc inline fours with quad carburetors and backed by a four-speed manual. One particularly interesting thing about the drivetrain of these cars was the sealed chain drive to each rear wheel. And I'm wondering if I can find a picture to illustrate that. And a final point of interest is that this car, of course, replaced the S500. Now, there's a car not on too many people's radars. I did have the pleasure of seeing, oh, two of those. And would you believe that this is Honda's only second production vehicle? Just what an incredibly engineered and styled vehicle and their second production vehicle. That blows my mind. And from here, we are gonna swoop on in into that interior where there are a couple of surprises. Yeah, that dash fascia is actually different from the, the standard S600, I'm very surprised. Uh, the gauge layout, the, just the general shape there, but I see the standard gauges, I guess. Red lines at 9,500 RPMs, incredible. And it looks like they didn't bother making the maximum space they could out the back there. That's, that strikes me as odd. I suspect I may have mischaracterized what this car is with the whole Strata 5 thing. This car was not built for that TV show. It existed prior to the TV show by several years. Details are a bit sketchy, but it seems Karotseri Watanabe built either three or five of these Griffins, with the first two being named Flying Pegasus because they would be used for the mobile oil advertising campaign. I did find some saucy deets on these builds, and it seemed Watanabe son would source a second hand S600, and it would take uh, six months to build the car at the cost of 150 man, one and a half million yen back in 1970. That's heaps. So there's a couple things I need to get to and I have precious little footage. One thing is the restoration of this vehicle that took place in 2014. Yep, I hope you call all that. And there is about half a dozen or so other Karotseria Watanabe vehicles getting around. One of them is that Hino, you know I mean that Renault over there. Hey. But I have precious little information and footage as mentioned. Finally, there's the mystery of the mixed and matched parts on this Honda. And if you do like your old school JDMs from all the manufacturers, you are going to get a kick out of this. But first important message, have you subscribed and have you clicked the notification bell for, wait for it, notifications. Do consider that if you're enjoying what you're watching. 
Okay, the taillights. What do you think, people? B10 Datsun Sunny Sedan. Very pleasing to look at. I'm liking that a lot. The whole rear looks amazing. And now around to the front, and I think we're going to tackle the, the blinkers first. Why not? They are from a Toyota Publica Starlet like this one. Saw this little nugget at the same event in the car park. Fell in love. How cool does that look? Why aren't we seeing more of these about? And the headlights, they're from an Isuzu Type B, a car that I have seen no evidence of in Japan, well, except for some photos from back in the day. Rare, rare, rare. Everyone, thanks so much for watching. Catch us next Saturday with another one. Take it easy and goodbye.